cunning, stealthy, fierce, and extremely agile, these are good words that define one of the most deadly feline species on our planet. That, for no good reason, is the most successful predator of all big cats, even surpassing the mighty lions and tigers. Propelled by its long, slender legs, effortlessly leaping up to an astonishing 13 feet in the air and an acute sense of hearing, this is facilitated by a remarkable set of long ears. Retracting up to 180 degrees, it's capable of pinpointing even the faintest rustle in its surroundings and pounces on its unsuspecting prey with lethal precision. Meet the flying feline with deadly talents, the Serval. The Serval, Leptalorus Serval, is a captivating wild cat indigenous to the vast continent of Africa across sub-Saharan countries, except for regions covered by dense rainforests. Flourishing within protected areas across its range, the, this magnificent feline stands as the only representative of the Leptalorus genus, making it truly unique. The intriguing name Serval, coined in 1765, is derived from the Portuguese language meaning lynx, wolf, and related to deer, respectively capturing the essence of the creature's characteristics and associations. The slender and medium-sized adults of the species exude an elegant presence, standing at a height of 21 to 24 inches at the shoulder and weighing between 18 to 40 pounds with their head to body length ranging from 26 to 39 inches, while females typically have a lighter build than most robust males. But either male or female, one can't overlook the wild and distinctive appearance that sets this cat apart. Its small head and large ears complemented with the predominantly golden yellow to buff coat are adorned with captivating black spots and stripes, exhibiting remarkable variation in its size. Moving beyond the coat, the facial features are equally captivating, with a whitish chin, enchanting spots, and streaks adorning the cheeks and forehead. Moreover, its long legs and black tipped tail measure approximately 12 inches in length, further enhancing its distinctiveness. It's worth noting that the Serval boasts the longest legs in relation to its body size amongst all cat species. This unique feature is primarily attributed to the remarkably elongated metatarsal bones in its feet paired with the exceptionally agile toes that it has, contributing to its extraordinary mobility. But even with its long legs gracefully stretched out, this particular cat may not hold the crown as the fastest sprinter amongst all of its feline counterparts. Yet this seemingly unfavorable trait grants the animal a distinctive benefit, a more advantageous vantage point, particularly crucial amidst thick foliage. However, when confronted with tall grass, the reliance on sight alone becomes insufficient. In such scenarios, the Serval instinctively charges forward, hinging solely on its acute sense of hearing, oblivious until the very last moment as to what might fall prey to its formidable clawed paws. Its large ears are capable of rotating independently up to 180 degrees, granting it a keen sense of hearing that leaves no faint rustle unnoticed. This feline creature shares a common trait with its feline counterparts a mastery of disguise. With every meticulously calculated move, it employs its soft paw pads to tread noiselessly, recognizing that getting close to its potential prey requires great caution, as many of them can also detect even the slightest of sounds. However, the cat's ultimate trump card lies in its decisive attacks. Utilizing its remarkable ears, the predator calculates the prey's exact position with astonishing precision, remaining motionless for up to 15 minutes. When the moment is ripe, the Serval springs into action, leaping 13 feet into the air with all four feet launching an assault with its stealthy front paws. Mid-air, it carefully controls its forelimbs position, ensuring the target's immobilization with unwavering certainty. For smaller prey, the Serval employs a slow and deliberate stalking technique, before suddenly pouncing with its front feet aimed at the prey's chest. It then lands with outstretched forelegs, incapacitating the victim followed by a biting blow to the head or neck, before promptly devouring its conquest. While the predator's primary diet predominantly consists of rodents, such as vlei rats, it also partakes in small birds, frogs, insects, and reptiles. Interestingly, the serval occasionally includes grass in its diet, which aids in digestion. In the face of more formidable prey, and the environments teeming with multiple predators, where the potential prey often relies on the watchfulness of birds to detect danger and alert others. Even in such circumstances, servals are renowned for their efficiency as hunters. A study conducted in Ngorogoro shed light on the remarkable hunting abilities of servals. Regardless of the time of the day, they achieved a successful outcome in half of their hunting attempts, with mother servals displaying an even higher rate of success of 62%, further exemplifying their hunting prowess. 
But perhaps the most interesting aspect of the Shaval's predatory attributes is its ability to hunt snakes, including some of the venomous species too. However, caution becomes paramount when confronting these reptiles. In this scenario, there's no margin for error, especially for a young Shaval with limited knowledge of its adversary. It approaches the situation with the utmost care, avoiding bites and carefully selecting the opportune moment to strike back. Even when facing a non-venomous mole snake, the young hunter hesitates to deliver a finishing blow as the potential presence of venomous vipers instills caution. But despite being new to the world of hunting, the young Serval adopts a tactical approach, meticulously wearing down the perilous prey with its lightning-fast reflexes, effortlessly dodging each attack. Once the snake is sufficiently exhausted, the Serval unleashes a flurry of rapid and forceful blows, capable of shattering the snake's backbone. However, this encounter culminates in a stalemate, as the snake regains consciousness and retaliates, forcing the amateur hunter to retreat. In contrast, an experienced Serval would exude greater confidence in such a scenario. With the reptile growing weary, the seasoned hunter would swiftly deliver a fatal bite, puncturing the reptile's skull before triumphantly carrying it away to a secure location. Careful observations have revealed that Serval's too exhibit an intriguing behavior of storing large kills for future consumption by concealing them amidst decaying foliage and dense grass. As they indulge in their meals, these sleek predators skillfully remove the internal organs of rodents and painstakingly pluck feathers from birds before feasting. During times of scarcity, even diminutive creatures like termites become valuable snacks. These feline can refine their skills by capturing dragonflies, which provide barely enough sustenance to replenish the energy expanded in the chase and diligently pursue lizards. Under normal circumstances, however, the Serval's hunting prowess shines through, which has an average of about 15 to 16 successful kills within 24 hours. Inhabiting the savannas with scorching heat demands that Serval should possess honed reflexes not only for hunting, but also for evading more formidable adversaries. Of which there is no shortage, especially hyenas and cheetahs, renowned for their relentless predation. They often inspect their concealed locations, but rendering a Serval an easy target. In this challenging environment, the survival survival hinges on its ability to navigate these delicate balances between pursuit and escape. The historical connection between survivals and human beings can be traced back to the era of ancient Egypt. In the artistic representations of that time, survivals are often portrayed as precious gifts or commodities obtained through trade from the region of Nubia. Fast forward to the present day, where some people still find these exotic creatures irresistibly adorable and attempt to domesticate them as pets. However, the consequences of such reckless endeavors can be severe and very far-reaching. An incident that serves as a cautionary tale occurred in June 2000, when a four-year-old boy in New York underwent plastic surgery after being attacked by a 40-pound African serval while being taken for a walk. The ferocious feline inflicted a bite on the boy's throat and left two puncture wounds on his face. Even the person responsible for walking the cat was not spared. He received stitches on his hand due to bite wounds. Similarly, in 2018, at a child's birthday party held at Indiana's Potawatomi Zoo, attendees had the opportunity to interact with the zoo's ambassador animal, Copper, a four-year-old African serval. Guests were invited to visit and pet this captivating feline during celebration. However, when a mother and her child approached Copper from behind, intending to get a photo, the serval lunged forward, emitting a loud hiss and biting the toddler on the head. That sudden turn of events startled everybody present, causing the room to erupt in shocked screams. Additionally, instances of survivals escaping from their owners are not uncommon in the United States, as documented by regional media reports. These incidents serve as a reminder of the challenges, the risks associated with keeping like, wild animals as your house pets. Sexual maturity of both males and females is attained between the ages of 1 to 2. Females experience a reproductive phase called ostris, which typically lasts for about 1 to 4 days and occurs once or twice a year. In this phase, she stays restless and frequently sprays urine while holding her vibrating tail in a vertical position. Additionally, she exhibits behaviors such as rubbing her head near her marked spots, continuous salivation, emitting sharp and short meow sounds audible from a considerable distance, and rubbing her mouth and cheeks against the face of an approaching male. Following successful mating, the gestation period for survivals lasts approximately two to three months. Subsequently, the female gives birth to blind newborns which usually number between one and four kittens. This reproductive rate ensures the stability of the survival population. To further safeguard this remarkable cat species, authorities have taken various measures to include the prohibition of hunting and trading of their skins. However, the outcomes have been only partially effective as the trade and use of survivals in the medicine persist in countries like Benin and Senegal. Moreover, despite survivals not directly causing harm to livestock due to their formidable appearance, people in these countries resort to large-scale killing of survivals to safeguard their livestock. 
Despite the challenges, the Serval holds the status of least concerned on the IUCN Red List, indicating that its population remains relatively stable, particularly within protected areas. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.